My name is Jeff Pappas. I'm principal with Cressa. We're based in uh, Dallas. We are the world's largest tenant representation brokerage firm, 58 offices worldwide. Our, my group is the site selection practice group, so we do site selection for back office, contact centers, healthcare companies, logistics. Uh, we focus on labor analytics, wage analysis, operating cost analysis, and lease negotiation. I've done, over the last three years, over 20 projects in Latin America. Most recently opened uh, Black Hawk Network in San Salvador, El Salvador, CSS in um, Costa Rica, and we did uh, Alorca in San Pedro Sula, Honduras. Nearshore in Latin America has been emerging over the last four or five years. You're starting to see not only the cultural affinity to the U.S., but the, uh, the quality, the talent that, that Latin America has from above and beyond the customer service, like with regards to the IT, tech support, uh, healthcare servicing, you're starting to see more and more of those companies coming into Latin America because of the quality of the talent, not only just the quality of the English, but the quality of the education and the, the business IQ of the individuals here in Latin America is very, very strong. The conference has been here, it's been fantastic. First of all, Guatemala City is a fantastic city. The conference has been well attended. I was quite impressed with the amount of countries and companies that have come to become vendors and have booths here. Uh, I was a panelist yesterday at 9.15 in the morning and I was lucky enough to have a, a co-panelist from myself in North America, uh, one from uh, China, one from the Philippines, and one from Brazil. You know, it's, it's very difficult to be able to find that many different co countries and get their opinions on a panel in, uh, in Guatemala. So it was really kind of fascinating. I think the, um, a couple of the highlights were finding out the emerging uh, uh, business units that are coming into Latin America. Uh, services like the, the public sector becoming outsourcing more and more of their work, especially when you look at uh, the, uh, the debt-ridden municipalities are looking to outsource janitorial, catering, police, jail, janitorial. So seeing that coming into play in Latin America is, 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 was quite interesting. This is my first time in Tulac, and I, I think, uh, quite interestingly, I've done a lot of work in Latin America. So when we first came to the uh, event at the uh, the opening on, uh, uh, I guess it was Tuesday night, uh, it was like a, a reunion, like a high school reunion. I saw so many of my associates and friends that I've met over the years here in Latin America, and they all came here. So I was really quite impressed at the size of this event from every different aspect of BPO and outsourcing. So that was very impressive. The amount of countries that came here, again, were extremely impressive that set up booths. Uh, the investors that uh, were here and the support from the Guatemalan community has been extremely uplifting. And if you haven't been, you have to come. I mean, I'm not sure when the next one's gonna be or where it's gonna be. It doesn't matter if it's in Mexico, Honduras, Chile, you have to go because if you want to be a key player and really understand the BPO environment near shore in Latin America, you have to attend this conference. Luckily, about 25% of my work is international, so I'm doing projects all across the Caribbean, all across Latin America. I just came back from speaking at a conference two weeks ago in El Salvador that PROESA put on, another fantastic organization. Uh, I'll be visiting Haiti, I'll be visiting some other countries, A, that I've met here, and B, that my clients have been uh, looking at in the near future for 2015 growth. So I'll be looking in Trinidad, I'll be looking in, in Guyana, I'll be looking back in Jamaica, and even Barbados and especially Haiti. And again, I learned a lot of that from the information I found here at the conference. You know, this conference was really the first time I got to uh, be familiarize myself with Connect America. I'm telling you, you know, the biggest thing about uh, Latin America, Nearshore, and the BPO industry, and really business in general, is connectivity. You have to be able to build relationships on all different aspects, whether it be at the sea level, whether it be at the entry level, whether it be in the vendor relations, whether it be in the city relations, the country relations, uh, and then the other site sector relations, and Connect Americas does that. It allows all the different facets of the different parts of a business unit to come together in one place.